What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Enro1800. We are looking at our salvager here who is just about to get another artifact out of the ocean here. So with the treasure hunts that we have. And we found actually something, we found a goblin shark, um, another one in fact. So this one's epic. Attractiveness plus 40, I'm really happy about that. So our suit is taking shape there. And what we have here is we do have some basic sh uh, scraps now. We can use them later then for upgrading our echoes. And that's what we want to do, right? Now, I want to get those two or those three artifacts back to Crown Falls here, to beautiful Crown Falls. And then we are going for the new wall. Since we got lots of treasure hunts there for the new wall as well. That is something we want to do over there. Now, the pirate hunt needs our attention once again. The three-star pirate hunt, the Amazons. The splendid warriors are all women exploring this deserted settlement, which appears to have been the scene of a revolt. Seemed a good opportunity for some looting, but your crew aren't the only ones to have had the idea. As they pass the barricades of barrels, tables and chairs, they happen upon a group of warriors with not a man among them. Indeed, the long trousered women assume a defensive formation so fluently, it's possible they are more than human. And let a woman do the talking, that would be a guaranteed success. Sure thing, she fascinates the warriors almost as much as they fascinate her. Many stray into her territory, but rarely does a woman lead them, says the tallest of the goddesses. Neither she nor the others make any further mention of these territories, how far they span, or if their people dwell in towns and cities. Your crew are invited to share in what they have found. However, as the women lope into the trees, eyes ever watchful, you wonder how they will purpose a repurpose all they have harvested from these ruins. It is your belief they may have stumbled into this chaos from a distant, more noble age. Alright, once again, nothing again with the pirates, but we already had Jolly Roger and this pirate hunt there. But now we are in the ruins there in the Amazons, and hopefully we find some artifacts there, so logical expedition on its way. Now, looking at Crown Falls, we do have, but wait a second, the salvager has he arrived now. Where's my salvager? He's still on his way there. Far away there. Oh yeah, there he is. So rather close to Crown Falls. So let's just get him over there. Because I need to unload those things and then go right for the new vault. Those um, treasure hunts do have a time limit if you activate them. So I shouldn't activate them again so quickly when the salvager is actually in another vault. That is. Now while he's doing that... Um, we do have a mission here for old Nate. So, oh god, get your tridents out. It's the Society of Atlanteans again. If they reckon their ancient cities down there, they'll stop at nothing to keep its entrance a secret. Diving bell quest, I'm eager to do that as well. But it's uh, 30... Oh yeah, it's actually 30 uh, minutes there. So, in that case, let's unload the goods here. And I want to look real quick there at my shipyard. Yeah, we can get a second salvager. Let's have a second salvager. That's better than having only one. And this one here we sent now to the new world. And the other salvager can then do the job here. So hopefully that's doing something. There is something under attack. Oh, right. There is the treasure hunt, but they're... Guinevere, so there is an, an eager looking guy. Let's actually send my ships over there and tell him our answer of what we think. That he's attacking my cargo ships there. Something that should not be allowed. And my fleet is on its way now with that. Let's have a look at the diplomacy as well there. As we can see now, the Admiral is visible in our diplomacy menu. So after restarting, we do have something here. And as we can see, we are at 44 with him. Um, and... Oh. Who has raised the settlement? Oh, Banta. Banta has actually settled on this island here. I'm surprised at that. The Admiral probably still hasn't gotten an island anywhere, Ship right? But the uh, but Benta has. Well, I'm fine with that. Benta has another island, so she's expanding. She's not only in Cape Trelawney now anymore, where she's got a decent-sized city. She's actually now in the Old World as well. I'm fine with that. And with the Admiral, he still hasn't settled anywhere. Let's go for trade. Right now, he wants to do anything with us. That's pretty good. What, what are you doing here? No, the, he doesn't like that. Okay. And N. Well, N is still as incomprehensible as always. Because I don't know what she's up to, actually. Now, that one here is really annoying at the moment. Oh, one of my ships has arrived. 
and one ship of the line is perfectly... F oh, no, actually, that's the Anarchist. <laughs> I'm always confused by the color there. But it's fine if he wants to do that himself. I don't mind that Ready? one bit. Problem is, with those ships here, they're right at my main trade route with the new world. So in that case, um, we really need to get rid of them or, well, Hugo is. Beautiful. He's actually doing that by himself. So no problem there for us. Alright, our salvager has always also um, arrived here in the new world and we've already taken track here of the next treasure hunt here in the new world. So we can definitely do a few of them. I think there is one, yeah. And the second salvager has been built now. So Angel Claire 2. And Angel Claire 2 is going down here to this quest objective that we have there for this treasure hunt. Very good. Um, what I can see is in the two more expeditions. Oh, the pirate hunt has returned. Let's see, three-star pirate hunt. I want to see something good here. Grape shot cast mortar. Um, when activated, mortar and naval power 40. Actually, we have that. Oh no, not two times, but it's a similar one. Mullivan's multi-shot mortar. <laughs> naval power 50, that's 40. Yeah, I guess it's good for expeditions then. Fires a barrage of five projectiles in an arc with each exploding on impact. Might be interesting to see actually. And there, oh, a treasure hunt map of Vicente Silva's sunken ship of the line. Treasure hunt in Cape Trelawney. That's interesting. In Crown Falls, so we can unload those things that we've just got. Out of that one, let's get the ship of the line over there again. So there we have a treasure hunt and I definitely, definitely want to do that. For sure, yes. We definitely want to do that. Now that's that. Um, the other thing is that is on its way. And the zoological expedition has some things here of sargassum. We had that. Um, harpooned them and tuck them away. Ship in rescue. It's a good one. And throw them a lifeline. And we do get a reward. The breaches boy guarantees a safe rescue. But no, we don't need that. It's a green item. I don't need to waste my space with that. That was that, and in the meantime, in the new world, we should have... Yeah, we are at the location. Let's dive down there. Actually, I don't think that I have done a treasure hunt in the new world yet, or not many at least. Because it's quite the distance. Oh, Mizoan Temple. That's a good one. It's a legendary one. Attractiveness plus 50, part of the set for Lost Cities. That's pretty good for my museum. Right, but we, as we can see, we still have lots of treasure hunts. So let's get over there. Let's get to each town. Oh, <laughs> there is already the next one. It's over here somewhere. If we can see it already, um, it should be close because we do have the basic echo system there um, working at the moment. And that means that it can only take it from a very limited distance. And here we have already the next treasure hunt. Very good. I love these missions, actually. You never know what comes out of it. We got a good one here. Um, some scrap. That's important. So the scrap we can use then for upgrading our echo machine. Something we definitely should do. Um, independence. That's a good name for salvager. We, we might just keep that. Right? That's that. Um, I also want to do a few quests here and there. Um, in Cape Trelawney is my salvager here now. He should be close. There is my salvager. Let's sal salvage this part here. And this one doesn't even have an echo item yet. So we should install another one for this one. And we do need a, a salvager then for the Arctic as well. So that is something. Let's get down there. And see what we can get. For this quest. Well, we found an item at least. And we need to deliver that back to Nate. Fine by me. And that is on its way. Alright, let's turn in the quest at old Nate's and see what we get out of this one. I think only a bit of money there. So nothing really serious. No, only 41,000. So nothing that we can do there. I think we do need a bit of steel and sand here though to craft the echo, echo machine here for Angel Claire. So let's get this ship back to Crown Falls and have a look at the new world real quick because I think my salvager is here at the right location. And what I've heard is that some, one of my competitors settled here on one of these islands there, though I don't see that. A sperm whale, epic. Attractiveness plus 40, not bad, not bad. 
Uh, let's continue here with searching. Let's get over there for the meantime. And I want to see if we do get a few quests here there from the pirates there. She doesn't have one. And Sean. Oh, Sean doesn't offer anything there as well. A bit strange. Oh, that's not good. Really hard with those pirates there. I mean, Anne has a good has gotten a good military there with her fleet. She's got a big fleet, so it's going to be hard getting it uh, peaceful uh, at some point with her. And Miss Hunt has rebuilt her fleet, so she's got several of these bigger fleets now. In the old world, I think she's quite strong there too. Yeah, over here, look at that. If there would be war, that would be really dangerous. Um, in the old world, though, we don't have that many interests anyway. So I don't care about... I care about Sleepy Hollow there. And that's it. I really would like, though, the, for the Admiral to settle in one of these um, islands there. In one of these islands there. That might be important. So I'm going to purchase a few um, islands there back from Miss Hunt. At least one of them. And look at that. He's totally lost in the world. Like, I, I've given up three islands for him and he just doesn't go there. The thing is, I think I will need to give the island up before he appears on the on the map. And only then will he go straight for that. Because I really want the Admiral to be a counterpart to Miss Hunt. Look at her fleet. It's incredible. I'm getting a bit nervous there when I see that. Um, it baffles me how she gets that fleet. It doesn't matter. We're not asking those questions anymore. But yeah, we're going to get this one here and probably then this one here. Let's purchase another share there. Miss Hunt wouldn't care anyway. And in that case, probably hopefully give it to the Admiral then at some point. Now, something that we need to do aside from quests and treasure hunts and stuff like that is we need to get the last production line for the investors up and running. So looking at the investors, we still miss the steam carriages. Now the steam carriages, we actually have almost everything for that. Let's have a look. It's the most complex um, production chain in Anno 1800, um, culminating in the cab assembly line over here. And it really needs almost everything from each um, civilization status and it needs energy and stuff like that and it pollutes the the island so attractiveness minus 10 nevertheless we're going to have the cab assembly line here in crown folds the only question is where we should have that um, we have our district with mining up here but i don't like that because wherever you are in the town you know you can see it you can see where there is a polluted air so i was asking myself where we could have that um where we don't see that prominently here certainly not because here we're getting rid of those industries at some point to expand the city then um so what we're doing is i'm going to give them over here a spot you know because here we really don't have anything um it's uh, further outside from the center so over here it's close to the harbor and close to the train track so we have our electricity here the possibility for that so i think this is a pretty good spot um, we don't have any oil there, so that is the next thing that we need to look out for. But in that case, I'm going to move those things now over here for this most complex production chain. Now here, as we can see, we already have the brick production, which I'm going to remodel a bit. And yes, of course, as well, what is important here is... Um, paved roads from now on so that is something right we do have the lumberjack huts here i'm going to get rid of them we don't need them here any longer oh some new expeditions we should probably also look out for them the rescue missions there do we have a free cargo ship here nope we should actually build a few more cargo ships then and a great eastern there as well got lots of sh oh we actually do have lots of ships there available hunts the mice for the building resources here that we can unload very good so that we got another ship done ready right away for some of these expeditions they really give you nice items there for your botanical gardens and stuff like that I love the fire service. They help me a lot. so let's get over here and yeah we need to we need to remodel this a bit so we do have a train track here already that is something we can do so here let's have the railway then going from here continue going over here with that beautiful bridge there and then we can continue over here as well right and then here we're going to have another bridge a big one that is a huge bridge <laughs> i don't know how this can hold in the middle there but it's fine it seems having the bridge here and then we can have a power station here and we're going to need that oh and our zoological one needs our attention there 
Song of the Sea, the lookout is sure of himself, he has sighted a mermaid. In the hot noon sun, sailors suspend their duties and rush to inspect the mirrory waters for sign of creature. Lo, there is something, a glimmer of silver tail. Convince the sailors to ignore the creature. Yes. Duty trumps distraction, awoken by the earnest plea of the presiding officer and sailors return immediately to their posts. Right. We do need a power plant. I'm going to have that here, I guess. Yeah, this is a good spot for a power plant. And then we're going to have the railway. Connecting then here. Very good. So there we have now the electricity right from the oil harbor. Very important. So we can't have, of course, um, the... Oh, we don't have any oil in the harbor, but he's just delivering it now. Perhaps there was a delivery of oil coming in there. And the train is now delivering that. That is just looking so beautiful. The scenery there with the artisan buildings. And then going over the bridge there. I really love the scenery of this game. Look at that. Amazing. We're definitely going to have some more ornaments here then. And here, since we're going to have the heavy industry as far away from everything as possible, let's move the window makers and stuff like that over here. You know, because here, um, the window makers, they don't look so bad. They don't even look half bad. And in that case, having them here um, provides a bit of a, a, a wall for the artisans before the heavy industry starts, right? So having the, the window makers along the train, I think, is something that, well, works. So let's have them. As we can... This is not a window maker. Oh, there are all windows makers. Oh, that's fine then. We do have quite a lot of them, it seems. And I think here we have the glass makers, another window maker. There's another window maker. Am I the only one here with a brain? Lots of them, actually. <laughs> Admiral, the Admiral thinks that my botanical garden is a waste of resources. Yeah, well, he doesn't even have any resources. So of course, he thinks that having a botanical garden is a waste. No idea. Be so much stronger together. No, no oh, alliance. Sorry, Penta. I know she always asks for it. And then we can have our warehouse here. Um, we probably will have, let's have a look, another or our glass makers. Two of them at least here. We can upgrade this warehouse here to the highest form. So that we save a bit of space down here. There we have them. And of course they're getting boosted then heavily by the electricity there as well. Right, and then we're probably going to have another one here. So this is now then something permanent, you know. So this is something that I'm not going to get rid of anymore like the other industrial districts there. In that case, we need to be a bit more careful about planning it. So here we have our glass makers. I can still squeeze in one more here. And then probably one more here. So as we can see then, people from the city then get over here. And then to the normal industry that is not that polluted and actually looks quite fine. You know, and then we're going into the heavy industry over here then. Far away from anything. Let's get rid of those streets there. And here we want our cab assembly line. Now the first step for that, let's get, let's see, we do have our brass smeltery. There's the motor assembly line. So that is one of those buildings that is really ugly. And we're going to have that here close to our power plant. And oh yes, I can also get rid of the other power plant up here now. You know, so I don't need that any longer. This saves us some oil then, naturally. Let's get rid of the railway at least until up to this point there there we have the other motor assembly line so that's one of the things that we need then for the cars you know those assembly lines and let's let me just do that real quick here and just look how clean it is up here now so we only have the concrete factory i'm going to get rid of that then as well at some point once i know where i should put that but they're not really polluting the air or anything like that so we can keep them up there for now no more polluted over here the mountains look clear again we do now have a little polluted area then here but you know really who cares about that you barely see it over there um, you see it from the ocean, of course, but then again, it's far away from the central harbor there. So no problem as far as I can see that we have the... My have the to oh, he's not happy with us. 
There we have now our brass smelteries. They all have been electrified by now. So we do have the electricity here. The same goes for my window makers and stuff like that. And yeah, are they? Oh yeah, they're also boosted by electricity. My brick factory here and in that case we still have a bit of room here to expand the brass then if we want to or the steam motor assembly line that is that let's have a look then at the other things that we need so we do need lumber and caoutchouc and i'm pretty sure we both have that um in huge quantities so caoutchouc is capped actually at 1800 tons <laughs> quite fine and lumber is usually something that's always capped and it is so in that case how many lumberjack huts do we have 11 that's really just way too much anyway so we have enough for the coach makers another huge building the coach makers though they don't waste the, the the air or something like that so i can have them here you know i can have them a bit more visible again like with that line or with that wall that we have kind of our imaginary wall um and it is being electrified here then as well so in that case we can have them that's perfectly fine let's just see how many we do need for them so they need two minutes the cab assembly line actually needs 30 seconds only to produce a cab i want to have at least two of them and i think two of them will be fine already it's a huge building probably the biggest one of the industries and we do have three motor assembly lines so i would need a fourth one let's have one and i guess we can have one here right and then for we need eight coach makers yeah we do need eight of them that's insane though but yeah well eight eight coach makers we can do that that's four. Oh, it's going to be close though definitely want to have another warehouse here then too And then another four here. Oh, there's only space for one. Here and here. That's fine. So we have eight of them here now. Um, and then we have the cabs in the land. So bear in mind that, you know, um, my investors, of course, are not consuming cabs like they are consuming, well, for example, cigars. So it's really not that much. So having two of them is already really good. Um, and if we need a third one, well, then we just expand a bit on that. Now, we can have them over here, I think. We could squeeze in three. As far as I can see. Oh, we squeeze them in here. Let's squeeze them in here. I think that's fine. So, for that, we'll need another road. I'm going to get my... Actually, wait a second. Can we squeeze one in here? Very good. Let's upgrade this one get over there and here we can then add now those cab assembly lines just along the tracks there are two of them holy moly they are big that we can have another one and then we can still add another one here later if we need that oh i've actually built three now i only need two for now so that's fine those two are fine let's get the street over there and now we have the cab assembly line big one they have their electricity we do have enough ele uh, oil in here though the oil will be something we need to focus on as well a bit actually those buildings are pretty cool they're really tall too if we're going from the first person mode look at them huge cab assembly line there it is and now we're producing caps the last good that we actually needed um they're missing the coat uh, the chassis now coming in here already being produced very good and then that's the last one that we need and with that the investors also have everything um they will grow then for the last four per building so that's going to be another huge boost on investor population and then we finally have crown falls completed when it comes to demands of course then we can continue building the city our expedition and that's an image i don't know yet the arid basin water has dribbled almost to nothing during an inland survey en route to the rendezvous but hope springs eternal. A muddy river strikes through the arid basin. The crew are delirious when they realize it is not completely dried up. Do you stop for water or press on? Look for the source of the river. Finding a river source is easy, but turning it into a shortcut, that takes brains. High above the dry, dry basin, water piles blissfully into the gully. Man wouldn't miss a swim beneath a waterfall for the world. And with that, we actually keep a hundred... 
morale there. Now 95, of course, but we still keep a really high morale there for that. Right, lots of progress there. We finally finished those and we can now turn towards to our zoo that we still don't have. And for that, well, more treasure hunts are on the way. Stay tuned. <laughs>